Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone has, is having a good uh, Sunday morning. Um, I'm not sick, but I'm feeling a bit froggy <clears throat> just from fall weather. <clears throat> anyway, um, so about my crochet, what have I been doing this week? Not very much, but oh, it's tiny thread. So we'll show you what I'm working on, my whip first, and then I'll show you what I finished last week, and then I'll show you my happy mail. It's not about crochet. So anyway, um, this is going to be the head of um, Evie from Pokemon. I've got um, the book from it, a kit, and this is the yarn. Yarn. See how well, well, you have to see my finger to understand. Very, very tiny. My mother, oh yes, on another finished object. Um, six years when she was eighteen, she had me when she was twenty-four. So six years, and I'm fifty-seven. So six years before I was born, my mom crocheted this and she told me she didn't know what yarn was because they lived out in the country and my grandmother probably bought the yarn or thread thread cotton thread from um a, oh a, just a, a grocery store that was just like a blip in the road I mean, it's an old country, tiny kind of store where you bought your groceries and everything and all kinds of things and material and things like that. That kind of a store? Yeah. But let me go get it. What I'm going to show you. It was amazing. I want to know how to make one part of this. It's a dolly. It's a very fancy dolly. As she was trying to show me what kind of yarn she didn't know what yarn was back then she said and um and i thought that uh my grandmother i learned to do uh the under stitch you know where you crochet under and i never really crocheted over i thought i learned that stitch because i was had left-handed tendencies apparently my grandmother did it that way and my mom learned it that way so this here is the very old dolly that she made. If you see, it's a daffodil. I don't know how to straighten this, but I want to learn how to make this daffodil. She did something similar to being in the round. Look at that. It won't stay up because it's 63 years old. Mm. And cotton at that. But anyway yeah wow look at those stitches so tiny i can't imagine what hook size she used she did have to she did end each row as she went up but she increased and then she these things on top there some double crochet with that yarn <laughs> what about that uh, uh and I don't think that it would be able to be washed very easily. I think this at one point in time, and there's one area where ink got spilled on it. And Mom told me it was ink. And uh, uh, that ink is not coming out. But it is 63 years old. That amazed me. I want to, I want to make some daffodils. Um... I'm trying to figure out how she did the daffodils on this dolly. If she did it as she went? No, I don't think so. Because you've got two attached at the bottom from the same flower. And then each flower on the side, the uh, third and fourth petal, is attached to the next flower. So if you were going up in a row... And they're not attached down at the bottom. Going up, coming around, or making... Well, I don't know. I just don't know. I think she made the flower and then she sewed it to this work. 
it would have to. Right? You'd have to do it that way? To put it on the dolly? And I don't know which... I guess this is the back side because of the back side of the flower. And, uh... There's brown there on it. There's a bit of brown thread on each one of these flowers on the on the inside part there I can't tell if there's brown on the inside I don't know but I guess you'd see the brown on the inside I don't know the purpose of that This one definitely has not got brown on it like that. This one looks like it has a hole. So, they're not all the same. Perhaps. Uh, can we see through the hole? Oh, yes. I can. And you can't. But I can see the light coming through on the bottom of that hole. So maybe, maybe some of the threads come undone and broke and she fixed it and repaired it with some brown. But anyway, I think it's amazing. I'm going to put it back down. Okay. Now, oh yes, my finished object that I made this week. Yeah, uh, I was crocheting at 18 and I made a blanket and it's long gone. Long gone, gone. Mm, with the trailer. Bye bye. Got gone. Got money from that. Because I overpaid apparently. But they took the trailer. And now I got money back about $8. Not much. But uh, anyway, I do live with my parents now. Oh, it, this is the doll that I made. The Clara doll from. The um, Nutcracker kit. Isn't she cute? Clara doll for Natalie for Christmas. Got McKinley's and Natalie's finished. And now i got to work on, I'm working on Ella's. And then Josie's going to get the Pikachu. Here, I'm making this one here. And then Ella's, Natalie, uh, Josie will get this one. And then from Frozen. And there is a reason I'm choosing this one for the little boys. Oh, boys. First of all, this is the Nutcracker book. I did that all. I did that for my sister Callie before I broke my hip. And uh, I did this one with a very crooked head for McKinley. Crooked head. Uh huh. And, uh, so, Frozen, we're going to do Olaf and this guy. Now, I'm choosing this guy because he might be a bit bigger for the baby, Walden. He's two months old, or he's just about to turn two months old, and maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I can't remember if he was born on the 2nd or the 23rd of September. No, he wasn't born in September. August. August. He's two months old. Uh, August. The 2nd, 22nd, or the 23rd. I can't remember what day of the week, what date. I, rem I do remember the day of the week. I think it was on a Wednesday. But I don't, well, I think. Anyway, I can't remember if it's the 22nd or the 23rd right now. And I'm not holding that very still, am I? Anyway, that one. The picture don't seem to be a good picture. There's lots of instructions there. That page. Yum. He's called Marshmallow. And I'm making Marshmallow because he looks bigger. And I'm, he's not going to have safety eyes. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to just embroidery. And um, the, um, the Eevee the Pokemon kit came with some felt to 
cut out, I mean, you have to cut it out in piece um, to glue onto the, the amigurumi. And I hate that idea. So I might figure out a way to embroider the eyes and nose on the face. Because you have to embroider a little bit anyway. And then, of course, Olaf for Beckley. And wouldn't be worried about Beckley trying to get these arms out and the hair. But Beckley would love Olaf. So, Olaf. And don't want to scare him again. Last year I made those monster things that were all furry trying to use the fun fur yarn. He got scared. He had just turned two. He looks like he's almost three and a half, four. But he's only... Not even three yet. Not till December. I'm going to leave that one out. Oh, yeah. I have a third. Op. This is not my book. This is Ella's book. She wanted to learn to crochet. I tried one day. Then she decided she had one. Rather play with her cousins and have fun. So, let me see Crooked Head. Put these back in the bag. Hide them down. They I need I need to put them in the other room. Happy mail. <laughs> okay, so I've been watching this lady who likes to do some she cooks and she crafts. I'm sorry, I'm more interested in the cooking. But what she cooks is like a, a she has a she she has had a gastric bypass, which, of course, I don't have to do because I've lost weight a lot. And I never got that to the round. At one point, I was over 300 when I was younger. And then I started losing weight. And then I started losing weight. And and then I started falling. Wow. But I'm, I'm close to being under 200 when I and with the medicine Ozempic that I'm on. Which, yay, I'll be happy when I'm... Um, when I'm below 200, but and while I was in rehab for my broken hip, my A1C came down below a um, below an eight. It's in the sevens, and that's what my doctor was at goal. So if it's below, if your A1C it gets below an eight, you can have checkups every three months instead of every month. So I was, yeah. so my first checkup. And after getting out, released out of rehab, was um, three months ago almost. It'll be three months in November second. Anyway, so um, the lady who crafts made these, and uh, she sent them to me. Now. I have earrings, yes. Pierced ears. It's hard to see these things. I wear these all the time. I need to find something to put these on if I'm going to wear them. But let me put them on. Try them on. I have to be careful and not lose the ending of this. Put them in that bowl, that little plate. We have a plate to keep protect the um, wood from our drinks when we're sitting in our chairs here. There we go. Ow. It's taped. That thing was so taped. Let me tell you. Tape inside of tape inside of tape. She's like me. Loves to tape everything. I'm going to get a picture of myself with the earrings in to share with her. Put this in here. Mm. My fingers don't want to do... Okay, I have to use two hands to get it to go down in there, right? Pop 
pumpkin. I love these. These these pumpkins look cute. Oh. I didn't get the tape removed enough. Oops. Oh well. I'll pick it up later. I dropped the thing it was in. She had some... Yeah. It didn't want to go. It should. While I was in rehab, I, I didn't have my earrings in for about three weeks. Or four weeks. Almost a month. I had to get Mom to get them for me. Yay. What you think? Happy mail pumpkins. Yay. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I love my Happy Meal when I get Happy Meal. I don't get Happy Meal very often. But so anyway, what I didn't say at the beginning, and did I say my name is Sharon? My name is Sharon. And um, so I didn't say at the beginning is please subscribe and comment and um, like this video. Comment below. Comment. Like the video. Comment below. Below. I got it out of order. I do that. I don't know why. Anyway, I have that light turned off. It does work. But if I had that light turned on, you're going to, I'm going to be washed out by the light. So I turn it off to make the video better. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, and we were going to have my great niece Natalie today. So I wasn't going to get the crochet on the Pokemon. I don't want to crochet on any of the gifts for this Christmas while she's here. But she woke up with a sore throat. So she, her mommy's not bringing her. Taking her to urgent care to check. I guess she's checking to make sure she don't have the flu or COVID. So that she can have her come with us the rest of the week. Yeah. Six years old. Wants to help me with everything. She gave up helping crochet because she just waving it around. So she's only six. Ella is the one eight year old, and she didn't have the. Uh, she didn't have patience um, with me because the directions say yarn over, and I yarn under all the time. So I'm having to force myself to yarn over. When I was taught to yarn under. And apparently because my grandmother did it that way. And maybe her mother did it that way. A family tradition in a long time. I'm about to have a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And say bye. And I'm going to go fix my breakfast. And take my medicines. And uh, drink my coffee. And get a picture of these earrings for my friend online that does the uh, uh, videos on Facebook. Sorry. Facebook. Not YouTube. Anyway, bye now. Talk to you later.